Welcome back, welcome back. This is your boy HT3 bringing you God and Trouble. Before we get any further, please subscribe, share, and like this video. This is a very, very great topic. It's like this subject has been lost in time. When many people think about Christianity history, they think about Jerusalem. I have no problem with that. They think about Europe. I see no problem with that either. But Africa, Africa played a key role in forming Christianity. When Paul, Peter, and John, and the rest of the cast died off, many people had to come to Alexandria, Egypt, to get a real Christian education. But let's let's back it on up a little bit so I can show y'all how. How everything developed. Alexandria, Egypt was already a learning center for the known world during the late first century and second century. There were scholars on poetry, geography, history, mathematics, astronomy, and producing medicine. And also in Africa, Alexandria, Egypt, they had a major library, an impressive museum, and an outstanding school, and soon a great church. Now, true enough, the Jews, they brought Christianity to North Africa, which is Alexandria, Egypt. So these was like some very intellectual people. And once it was taught to them about Christianity, it was like an explosion. A, a big explosion. Like the world has ever seen. Where this city in Africa, Alexandria, they produced so many theologians, priests, great teachers, magnificent students. I don't think it ever happened after that. Africa helped form Christianity. They played a key role in forming the doctrines and the way it's being taught today. I know that is a shocker. Do your research. The first and second century. Alexandria, Egypt was a learning center in Africa. Where people had to go there to learn about the Lord Jesus Christ. And get a great education like none other. And also, we can go further back. We can go to the Bible. Let's go to Acts chapter 2, 10 verse. During Pentecost. And all those people got baptized. And different groups came. Like I say, if you look at Acts second chapter ten verse, you will see this Egypt was there. Liberia, another African place, was also there. So we can forget about this. Slave boat stuff. 
people are saying, well, black people, they never heard of Christianity before the slave boat. That is a lie. That is not the truth. But in reality, the people in Africa were the greatest teachers in the world of the doctrine of Christianity. They were the theologians. They were the priests. They were the go-to people in order to get this Christian education and get it on a very high level, a respectable level. I wanted to shoot that theory down. Cause people use that to stop other black people from becoming Christian. Using the slave boat to do Satan's will. We had Christianity before the slave boat. I just read, in, read it in Acts. There are two sets of African people. Was there during Pentecost. They heard the word of Christ and they got baptized. And they witness the disciples speaking in tongues, speaking their language, without being, without being taught it. The Holy Spirit, they was full of it. This is your boy, HT3, bringing you the truth, bringing you real black history. Peace out.